or modular open systems architecture, or MOSA approach, allows the Army significant growth because now the Army can really plug and place systems on and off the aircraft without a whole change to the architecture of, of the aircraft. So think about your smartphone and you're quickly able to load a new application and that application interfaces seamlessly with your phone book, with your pictures, with all the other applications on your phone. You don't see what's going on in the background, but that application was designed to interface with all the technology that's around it in order for you to very quickly have the capability and to make the decisions that you need. We're not doing something proprietary with that software. We're really taking the design data that we have with the aircraft so other people can use that open system architecture and the Army can design applications that they want to sit on top of it. MOSA for us isn't just a buzzword. We have been living it for years now. We have worked with the Army for 10 plus years to work side by side to develop what the standard should be for both our software and our hardware, to help lay out and be a leader in industry as to what MOSA is and how we can implement it into our designs. So we were committed to MOSA long before Future Vertical Lift got here. So now that we're, we're in it, now that we are executing our vision, we have designed our architecture with MOSA at the heart of every design decision.